Welcome back to No Nonsense Reviews and How To's, Hacking the Sony PlayStation Mini Part 6. Today I'm going to show you how to add cover art to your RetroArch games. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to this website that's in the description below and you will find cover art for whatever system you want here. I'm going to download cover art for the N64 to show you guys an example of how to get it onto your PlayStation Mini. So just click on it, press save. And once it's downloaded, find where it's downloaded and unzip it. You don't need the zip file anymore, get rid of that. And when you go in here, you're gonna want the named box arts folder. You want the whole folder. With my external hard drive now plugged into my computer, let's show you where to put the cover art files. So go into RetroArch, go into Thumbnails, and you're going to want to find your N64. And you can see I have a folder in here called Named Box Arts. And it already has all the cover art that I want because I've already done this. But if I didn't, I would drag and drop them all into the bo Named Box Arts folder. Just like that. One other important thing that you want to note is that your Named Box Arts, your your cover art file names need to have the exact same name as the game file names. So let's have a look. Again, in my hard drive, go to ROMs. I'm going to go to N64 and let's use GoldenEye as the example. So it has to have the exact same file name, which these two do. If it's not named the same, none of the cover art will show. So let's head back over to the PlayStation and see if it works. As you can see, all of my N64 games have cover art, including 007 game. And that's really about it. Thanks for watching.